recover. He took some time off. He stopped training stop, stop, for a moment. Because if he would have fought when he didn't feel 100%, then that probably he wouldn't win, you know, moving forward in this fight. Let him go, let him go. Stop, stop, stop. Later, and even in trying to get it to what was then stop, the stop. new date of July 90% of no, no, himself, stop, no, no. and his trainers were greatly concerned. right now I'm worried because he doesn't need to be there he's fighting a short second round he needs to pick up his left his left his right jab keep the four fives and sixes together right now just pile up the points and let a kendo know that this is how the fight he doesn't have to get into it he's gonna get time the line that's exactly what he needs to do no 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 talking about in the beginning of the show and it's amazing Tim how that pressures yeah because now he has the distance and now he you know he's giving the, the he's hesitating a little bit before he comes in I am Tim take that little step back when the pressure comes and land that uppercut and he did it right there I keep turning and throwing you've got to throw hands and you got to do your work you got to do your job round throwing 54 punches landing 18 to Akendo's seven there are the total punches through two rounds as the champ has landed 31 percent you know uh a lot you know, you see him leaning in for Harry to make him pay. The uppercut is available. The check hook is available. The aggression of Jonathan Akenda. Oh, there's a great right left there, uppercut. There's the uppercut again. As soon as he crosses that threshold, he's ready to pull the... Because if he misjudges it, and Okendo throws a looping right hand over the top, being aggressive, you take that half step back just like that. He leaned over that front knee, and then you lift him up with the uppercut. That was a perfectly placed, timed uppercut by Harry. And I said he was a little bit off the mark earlier, but sooner or later, he will find his marks. There it is. Nice. So now he's starting with the chip to start the round. That he's throwing it too wide. He needs to shorten it like that. You're wondering why Kendall's having a hard time even you know, at times getting the inside is he's not using the jab. You know, one of the hard. He's just leaving himself open to be countered. He's, he wasn't hurt that last. It was a conversation that you were leading last night when we asked him the big. <laughs> <laughs> See the, the mind, what I, I said, I said. Is Jonathan Akendo. He has patiently waited for this opportunity. Balance that time, left hand. You hear Brian McIntyre. Oh, there have been numerous clash aheads. This was moments ago. If you can see, you fight. If you can't see, I can't let you fight. You good? You good? Let me see. Okay. Get, get over there. No, no, stop, stop, no, whoa, whoa. Let him up. Sling him to the ground. With a Kendall lowering his head and coming into that right eye of Jamel Herring. Stop, stop. His offense off. He's trying to get under the punches of Jamel Herring. He leads with his head just like he did right there. Send your step. Don't worry, work they're going to get it. They're going to get it. Keep him on the outside, okay? You let him in when you I want him to come in. I got one point for an intentional. Huh? We are with the Dick Your eyes? Yeah. Which one? I don't. Head clash in round five. For a fighter with long arms, Jamel Herring can fight really well on the inside. The key is just knowing how long to be there and when to get back outside. If he can judge that dip. We, we, right in, right in, right in. But the left hook is a punch that. Is if Herring, that's a slip. If Herring. Going into this fight is to make things rough. He knows he's, the, the, you know, he's not as skillful as Jamel Herring. What you see him doing right now so, is so, what he wanted to do. It messes up your rhythm as well. You know, it's really hard for Herring to really get in a really solid rhythm as a weapon. Stop, stop, 
I'm telling you right now, that head of Okendo. But this isn't the Jamel. Tony Wicks n'intervient pas plus que ça. Ouais, le médecin euh, explique à Tony Wicks, non, il ne peut pas voir. Il ne peut pas voir. Andre's card, il read 76-74 as it happened, when it happened. Now, Timmy and Dre, I'll turn to you, and I think I know your reaction because it was happening in the rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the MGM Grand, referee Tony Weeks calls a halt to this bout after the eighth round due to repeated intentional headbutts, declaring your winner by disqualification. And still, WBO Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Jamel Semperfile.